Welcome to the Build My Sports Biz Show, where we talk about how to create, build, and scale your own local sports training business. Let's go. It's time to get started with your host, Ben Neighbors. The show starts right now. Welcome back to the show, and today I'm going to be talking about three specific ways to get more respect from the kids that you coach, the kids that you train. And this is something I get asked all the time. I got asked this the other day on Instagram. Um, a coach asked me, he said, hey, Ben, how do you get kids so committed to your program? You know, Why do they keep coming back to you over and over again? And I told him that I would just make a podcast about this because giving him a one sentence answer would not <laughs> that would not justify this. So again with this, feel free to take out a pen and piece of paper. Um, this is something that has really developed over the last decade. Uh, when I first started coaching, I had no idea about what I'm about to share with you. Um, this came through experience of training you know thousands of kids and I want to pass this along to you. And again, this is broken into three steps here. So number one, you have to remove yourself from the thought of being a coach or a trainer, and you want to be a mentor. There's a clear-cut difference, and let me tell you what that is. The difference between the two is very simple. The coach shows up to the sessions every week. The coach is knowledgeable about the game. The coach can help kids get better. The mentor shows up for kids outside of the session. The mentor shows up for shows up for kids in their life, in their personal life, and they make a difference in their personal life. That is not something coaches do. Mentors do that. And lastly, mentors get results. Mentors don't help kids get better. They get results. There is a clear-cut difference between getting better and getting results. Okay? And the more you can become a mentor to the kids that you train, simply like that allows them to build a tighter bond with you they will give you more respect and you do that by delivering way more value than what you're currently doing and this is a simple practice i have with the consulting clients that i help i want them every single week to look at what are they offering what are what are they giving to their clients and how can you make it better every week what is one thing you can do every week to make it better and if you do that over the course of a year your program will be 52 times better than it was at the beginning of the year. And that is by adding more value, adding different ways to mentor kids. Again, when you are a mentor, the kid wants to train with you. They want to, to respect you more because they know you care more. And I am just going to call it how it is, but most trainers out there are not like that. Most trainers, they want to show up to the session. They want to get paid by the session, and then they want to leave they want to get in their car and go home. That is not going to cut it. If you want to you know, have a mediocre business, do that. If you want to have a really successful business and build out like an empire, you need to be the mentor. And that is you know, step one. To get more respect from kids, you have to step up, be a leader, be a mentor to them on and off the field, and be willing to do more than what you're currently doing. I can promise you when you do that, it will instantly separate you from any coach who ever tries to be a competitor because if you just are that guy if you're the dude um, or if you're the girl the 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 leader like that is a thing that will separate you and you know i can honestly tell you that's the thing i do um, i've been working on that i've been working on refining that with kids over the last several years but at the beginning that is something i really struggled with um, i wanted just to show you know, kids, you know, that I was a good coach, that I knew a lot about the game. And, you know, that's just not going to cut it. That's not good enough. You want kids to respect you. And in order to do that, you have to be the mentor. And this leads into the second thing here, which is communication. And I've learned a lot over the past decade on, on how to better communicate with my clients, especially the kids, the kids that I train. And I know at the beginning, like I just said, like I... It's almost like I wanted to impress them and prove to them how much I knew about the game, you know, how high of a level I played at, yada, yada, yada. At the end of the day, what I realized is 
the client, the kids that I train do not give a crap about where I played in college. They don't care if I played in college. They don't care if I was the best player in my city or not. All they care about is, can I help them get better? <laughs> and that's all the parents care about. Parents do not care anything about my accomplishments. They care only if I can help their kids. It's a results-based game. This is not one of those things where if you have you know, all these accomplishments that automatically you're gonna be a great trainer. That has nothing to do with results. Results comes from better communicating with them, being the mentor. And what I'm about to talk here, or what I'm about to say here is very, very important. So as far as communication goes, this comes down to asking more questions and talking less. And I know for most coaches that might sound weird because you want to talk a lot to your kids. You want to instruct them. You want to lead them. But what I've realized is the best communicators I've been around, they're the ones who are very quiet. What they do is they ask questions. They let the players talk. They let the players explain themselves rather than them just talking over the players. And that's something I know this year I've really focused and concentrated on during my sessions is, you know what? Like, there's times when I do need to talk and I do need to speak up and I do need to give instruction. But a lot of times, if I just simply ask players, you know, where are they at mentally? Like, where's their confidence at? You know, why did they do something in a game that, you know, we've been working on for the last couple of weeks? You know, <laughs> what what's really going on? And when I ask questions, they will open up. And when kids open up with you, that means that they respect you more. That means that they trust you more. And that only happens when you ask questions, though. If you're constantly talking over them, they and they can't get a, a peep in, <laughs> then why are they going to want to come back and train with you? Because they know that at that point, they're just going to be coming to your sessions and you're just going to be talking over them the whole time, which is what they're already conditioned to with their normal team. And I know this. I spent hundreds of hours, actually thousands of hours over the last 10 years analyzing, watching kids play at practice. I see what their relationship is like with their own coach. And frankly, like most kids are frightened of their coach. They don't want to say anything. And a lot of times they're not allowed to say anything at practice because their coach is trying to talk to 18 kids and they don't want to interrupt the coach. They feel afraid to do that. So their relationship with their coach is in my head fragmented. It's, it's not good. Um, there's zero communication between the two. And when kids come into my world, I want to make sure it's the complete opposite. That is the thing. And that's the reason why kids want to keep coming back to my sessions because they have the ability to speak and they have the ability to share their ideas and tell me what's really going on. And if I don't really know what's going on with them, I can't really help them. And that, that's just the way it is. It's like this with the clients that I work with in our inner circle program. If you're a coach and you're in that program, the more I ask you questions, the more I get you to open up, the more I can help you. If I can't get anything out of you, if I'm just talking and that's it and you're not sharing anything with me, like, I can't really help you out. I have to know everything that's going on with your business. It's the same thing, okay? Now, lastly here, and to me, I think this is probably the most important, is the accountability. And the reason why kids get results, ultimately, it's because of them. It's not because of me. Like, there's a million trainers out there in my city who can train kids and some of them, I would just be honest, some of them are much better trainers than me. But where I thrive is I have a high level of accountability with the clients that I work with. And that happens before I even see them. And in last episode, I talked about you know, how to attract committed clients. So if you haven't listened to that, go back and listen to that. That is a very important episode. And the thing that, that I do, though, is I make sure every kid has homework that they do every day on their own and they have to report to me every single day when they're not with me so i know that they are actually getting better i could easily right now if i wanted to i could train 100 kids a month and have zero homework have zero accountability and month after month i could probably maintain that number for a few months but if kids aren't doing anything on their own how are they really getting better because even if they see me for one hour a week and the session is great even if the session is great, they have to be doing more on their own. <laughs> and that's the thing I explain to every kid. It doesn't matter what you do with me. It matters what you do on your own. That is way more important. And I see a lot of trainers 
who don't focus on that. They only focus on training kids once or twice a week. They think that's enough. They think kids are, are good with that. And then, you know, those kids aren't coming back three or six months later because there's zero accountability and the kid has not gotten results at that point. And so the results will happen when kids are more accountable. And this is why, again, it's a condition with all the players that I train. They have to report to me every day when they're not with me. So I know they are actually seeing the results. They are actually getting better. And I test them on that every week. It's not one of those things where I just say, hey, go do this homework and and uh, I'll see you next week. It's, hey, go do the homework, do it every day. And next week, I'm going to test you on it. This way, there is actual pressure. There's pressure to finish the homework. And this is one of those things like when when you step into becoming a mentor to kids, you force the results to happen. Like the resort, the results are non-negotiable. They will happen when the kids follow through and when they're accountable. And the higher level of accountability you have with the kids that you train, the faster results they're going to have. Hey coach, thanks for listening to our show today. If you enjoyed the content, I'd really appreciate it if you would leave us a five-star review here on iTunes. If you want to attract more committed clients, generate more income, and create more freedom in your life, you'll want to check out our Inner Circle Mastermind. This exclusive group is reserved for coaches who want to build and scale a dominant sports training business. To learn more about the Inner Circle program, simply head over to our website at www.buildmysportsbiz.com. Thanks again for listening. I'll catch you later.